Do you get a little spam in your YouTube comments? Well, today I'm gonna to tell you how you can reduce that spam just by ticking a few simple boxes in the back end of YouTube. Stick around. G'day, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and we're here to help you with tech for content creation. And it's another YouTube tip for you today. And we're talking about automatic comment moderation on YouTube. In the back end of YouTube, you can do all sorts of things to help reduce the amount of spam that appears in your comments. So we're gonna head on right on over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. The first thing you need to do is to head into your Creator Studio. We'll load that up right now. Once you're in your Creator Studio, you wanna to go to Community, click on the tab, open that up and go to community settings. This is where you add your filters. So if you scroll down in this top section under automated filters, past the moderators and hidden users from your account, different things like that. First thing you see here is this section here about block words. This is where you can put in words that are, that are inappropriate that you don't want to appear publicly in your comments and or your live stream chats. What you can do is continue to add to that. So if you come across words that you don't like to appear in your chat, you can just go ahead and add them. There are some inappropriate words, hence why I've actually got that uh, grayed out for the video. Right below that is a section called block links. So these are the two main areas where you can set up to facilitate the automatic filtering of blocked words, links, and things like that on your comments and your live chat messages. There's a section below that is titled Default Settings. Some of these will affect the way that the chat and comments are handled. The first one here says Comments on your new videos. Um, you can hold all comments for review, allow all comments, or hold potentially inappropriate comments for review or disable comments entirely. The one that I've got selected there is the one that actually says beta grayed out, but it's whole potentially inappropriate comments for review. So that's, this is an additional filter where it's saying, I think there's something inappropriate or a bit suspect in this particular comment. So we'll just put that in the hold so it can be manually reviewed by the channel holder, which is you. The next one underneath says comments on your channel. That's just more general comments which aren't on specific videos, which could be comments in your community tab, or if you don't have a community tab in your discussion tab. I've got the same setting, hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. They're probably the main ones to look out for. And then finally, right at the bottom here, messages in your live chat, hold potentially inappropriate chat messages for review. I highly recommend this be on, uh, even if you do have moderators on your channel for live streaming, this will gray out comments that people can't see, only the moderators can see it, you can see it, and then you can judge whether it's appropriate or not appropriate and click the correct button to either make it appear or to make it go away completely. So these are the main areas that you need to concern yourself with, with in regards to auto filtering of comments. I highly recommend you use the auto filtering system so that you can verify that comments are appropriate or not appropriate. Remember, uh, YouTube, holds you as the channel owner accountable for the comments on your videos and on your channel. So make sure that you use as many of the tools that YouTube give you as possible to make it so that disgusting and inadvertent comments do not publicly appear right away on your videos and your channel. If you want to discuss more things in regards to comments and what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, you can look at my previous two videos that I did on uh, moderation. And you can also uh, join my live streams sometime. I regularly schedule live streams. I do the pre uh, trivia live stream. And I also am starting back up my subscriber Q&A, which is an ideal place to ask questions about anything that you see in my videos, including auto filters comments for YouTube. Make sure to keep those comments clean. Take authority over your own comments. Be in charge on your channel. Well, if that YouTube tip was helpful to you, make sure to subscribe for more tips like that. And if it was really helpful, make sure to share it out with your YouTube friends.
Well, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and I'll catch you later.